So we're going to be setting up a Kubernetes cluster and we're going to be using K3S for that. Now there's a couple of reasons why I always recommend K3S to my students, at least in the beginning. The first reason is don't start with Kube ADM because it's too intimidating if you're a beginner and it's just going to lead to frustration and you're not going to get this, ooh, I'm learning something, this, this feeling of um, early mastery. You're, you're not going to get that. And that's, it's really important to get some positive reinforcement early in your learning process. You can move to that when you are a bit more advanced. If you use K3S, you still keep your Linux operating system. I, I'm running Raspbian OS on these Pis now. And after my Kubernetes cluster is set up, I can still tinker with Linux. So that's the reason why we choose K3S. Finally, K3S is great because it's easy to set up. It works out of the box and it runs as a single, bi single binary, which is amazing. However, K3S does this out of the box and this is super neat. So now if I just enter the IP address of the actual Raspberry Pi here and port 1990, now I'm actually able to log in on an IP address. And now I could, for example, in my home lab dashboard, I can actually now point this to a service that's running on my Kubernetes cluster behind me. And that is one of the reasons why K3S is such a great option because you can actually just create load balancer servers so that you can run applications on specified ports on your Raspberry Pi. Now you have a Kubernetes home lab where you can start building, experimenting, and start learning the tools of the trade of a DevOps engineer.